Flags flew at half staff on Capitol Hill and the White House today to honor longtime Congressman John Lewis. The civil rights icon passed away late Friday at the age of 80 after a fight with pancreatic cancer. The country lost a hero last night. The movement lost an icon. Lewis never stopped stirring up good trouble, as he liked to call it. As a student, Lewis organized sit-ins at lunch counters. In the early 60s, he was a freedom rider. And at the age of 23, Lewis was one of the big six civil rights activists, including Martin Luther King Jr., who organized the 1963 March on Washington. We do not want our freedom gradually, but we want to be free now. The embodiment of nonviolence, he frequently suffered beatings by angry mobs. <laughs> In 1965, he led a march for voting rights across the Edmund Pettus Bridge in Selma, Alabama. Hundreds of protesters were met by heavily armed state and local police. They were set upon and beaten in the march forever known as Bloody Sunday. I thought I was going to die. I thought I saw death. I thought it was the last march. Lewis went on to serve 17 terms in the House of Representatives, representing Georgia's 5th Congressional District since 1987. Everyone in Congress, you know, in Washington, just truly respected him. Today, people across the country, including Tanika Moultrie, president of the Colleen Branch NAACP, are reflecting on his legacy and holding his memory dear. Even when Martin Luther King passed away, Representative Lewis picked up that torch and he carried it on till now. Well, now he's passing it on to not just one person, but to all of us, regardless of what color you are. In 2011, Lewis received the Presidential Medal of Freedom, the highest civilian honor in the U.S. Olivia Laveda, 25 News.